Oh, hi. I know what a real comedy fan wants. You want to talk to real comedians just like me. So call now, 646-710-0949, and talk to real comedians in your area just like me. I know what a real comedy fan wants. I know all of their desires. So pick up the phone right now and call a comedian. The hottest takes from the hottest comedians every Wednesday night live from the green room of the Stan Comedy Club in New York City. If you're 18 years or older, comics are standing by to talk to you. You want to talk about current events, music, news, sports, life, boys, girls, make sure to call the bathhouse. Real comedians, real comedy, real fun. Call in to the bathhouse every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. 646-710-0949. Local charges may apply. Call now, boys. Is that too gay? I mean, pretty gay. Welcome, everybody, to an all-new episode of The Bathhouse. We're here with Tom Cassidy. Karen Fian is going to be joining us shortly. I think she said she went upstairs to, what, take a shit? Mm-hmm. Okay, so, uh, all right, we have our first caller of the evening. That's quick. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. One quick thing. I guess I'll pick up the phone, but um, just so everybody knows. For now on, the show's at 1030 because we start late every week. Anyways, it's out of my control. All right, we got our first caller of the night. Um, hello, thanks for calling the bathhouse. By the way, Tom, one thing you should know is you can hang up on the people at any time for any reason. Okay, cool. Like yes. I can? Yes, that's the rule. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, that's the one rule that we have in the bathhouse. Hello, thanks that for calling. That is call- the rule. Yeah, that is the rule. Thanks for calling the bathhouse. Who are we speaking with here? So I, I'll, I'll keep it quick. Name's Lucas. I'm over in Oregon. But I have a bit of a problem. Yeah. I just wanted to test it out real quick. <laughs> So uh, Kunal Aurora joined us a couple weeks ago. You know Kunal? Yeah, I'm a hack. Everybody does that? What? Does everybody do no, that? No, 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 no. So no, 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 no not everybody does that. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone done that? Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Call for sure. back, buddy. I was yeah, just kidding. We'll, we'll call him back. I was doing a bit. We'll call him back. Here yeah, I was doing yeah, a bit. He, was doing we're doing a bit. But he, uh, hey, what's up? Sorry, we were just testing out the equipment. Yeah, I was just doing a bit. I'm sorry. Oh no, it's the same guy calling back. Yeah, so, we know. We uh, know no that. worries, brother. Know everyone's that. everyone's got to try it once. Yeah, you got to try it. The only person we couldn't get to do it was um, Tim Butterly. Refused to hang up on anybody. He's a nice guy. Too nice. Too nice. Okay, what's up, dude? Yeah, so, says a lot about Tim. Yeah, but say about- <laughs> I do have a problem. So okay. I'm in sales, and there, and I have this kind of uh, sales manager guy. He's made, I guess, in the past, me a lot of money. Sure. So I wanted to kind of pay it back to him. He said he got his fiance pregnant. And so I immediately impulse, just because he closed the deal for me, I bought him a hundred dollars. I just gave him a hundred dollar gift card. I said, "Go ahead and spend a hundred dollars on a, like a, some sort of cute baby outfit, something along those lines." Where was no the gift card from? About. Trying to do it, guess. Where was the gift card from? Like an Amazon? Uh, honestly, it it was. I asked him. I said, "I, I got a hundred dollars ready for you," and he gave me some store. I can't remember. But okay. here's the thing. Yeah. There was a miscarriage. Mm. Oh. And so there's no chance I'm going him and getting my money back. <laughs> but I feel like Larry David would. Yeah. So I'm asking you guys, where's the line? I think that's just going towards the next one because I assume they'll try again. But that is a tough one. That's well, that you know what? That's in the ballpark of like you give someone. So you're money. saying you give someone a wedding he present. Has a kid and then go back and get the hundred dollars. You wait till he has a. Well, no. You didn't kill the kid, did you? <laughs> you didn't like poison this lady, I, did you? I, I'm not alcohol or cigarettes. No, I didn't do that. Okay. No, he's not alcohol or cigarettes, he says. <laughs> <laughs> this kid's great. 
Yeah, I think you got to just chalk that one up, buddy. Yeah, I think it's deposit for a future. How old is this guy? Uh, like three, like twenty nine. Okay, 30. so he'll they'll try again. He's gonna have another kid. Yeah, so that's I guess if he was the like Larry David. I wouldn't ask for the money back, I, but yeah, I guess the Larry David ish moment might potentially be like if he gives you a hard time for not giving him another gift for the next kid. Yeah, listen, I've watched every episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm, and I'm pretty sure Larry David wouldn't ask money back for this. <laughs> I understand. But I'm saying... But I understand would, what you're saying. But, like, if the guy then had a new kid, and he goes, I noticed you didn't get me a gift, and you yeah, go, well, yeah, I yeah. gave you the money yeah. for Maybe the at that point, And, like, sure. I gave him $100, and he clearly spent it on something else. You know, what, well, what about that? Well, are you sure that he spent it on something else? Like, that's the thing, is he might have not... No, lost. we're going into Curb Your Enthusiasm territory here, but yeah. I'm just trying to find where the line is. Gentlemen. Yeah, I think you give him a hard time if he gives you a hard time for the next kid. And he goes, where's my gift? But that is tough because you're not going to get really credit for buying the, yeah. Wait, the I know you yeah, think to do is just give him another hundred. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tough, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, man, you got to take this one on the chin, buddy. You know, um, it is what it is. Also, like, you know, he's just got a, he lost the kid, but he's got an extra $100 gift card. So that he's got that going for him. Yeah. If anything, yeah, you've kind of like, he, that might be something, yeah. I guess, like uh, to console him. I, I imagine he's, how far along was the baby, do you know? Too far. Ooh, Way too far. Stinks. It was like a premature birth. It was the most tragic oh, fashion really possible. Sad. Are we talking birth. like nine months, like eight or nine months? I'm talking like Did seven the, and change, ooh, and then okay. there was a long hospital ordeal. Well, I think this is also a learning thing for you. Don't give anybody a gift card until the fucking baby's born. <laughs> That's a good point. You know, yeah. so this just, is, uh, it's a life yeah. lesson for you. Yeah, this is this is definitely uh, just in, just in case, right? Sure. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you can always buy the gift. Uh, well, no, because isn't it like traditional where you you do like the showers, all that stuff is before the baby comes. Yeah, but he didn't go to the shower. Dudes yeah, or, don't do showers. Dudes don't do showers, but I'm saying, like, in general, gifts come before. Sure, yeah, yeah, five or six months or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, this is, this is a tough spot. Um, I don't think it's very tough. I think it's pretty cut and dry. <laughs> this one's pretty easy. No, you don't ask for the $100 What if it was $1,000 instead of 100 Well, if you could afford you to give like this that. dude $1,000, then you could afford to not have the 1000 Yeah. I'm telling you, I made an emotional decision to give him the money after he closed a big deal for me. Well, and then I he just closed the big deal really for you. Great. How much you make on the deal? That's not an emotional decision. That's a business yeah, decision. Like a he made you money, so you gave him $100 yeah, for his I'm dead baby. Yeah, I'm saying I blended <laughs> business and emotion, and I'm trying to have you guys find the line. You grease yeah, yeah, yeah. them. Damn, I wish Karen Fian was here. A yeah. female touch would, uh, although I guess even as I was saying, female touch. <laughs> no, that's okay, exactly Karen, why I called Karen, him Karen right ain't giving a female touch for anything. Yeah, but. Karen only has... Uh, only deals with abortions. She doesn't have. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's like, "Why? What? What's the problem? You don't have a kid." Yeah, <laughs> and you have a hundred. Yeah, uh, I've also seen bits about abortion gifts. So, so yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I would say just, just chalk. Do you think you could write it off on your taxes potentially as like a maybe ask for that was my next question, charity, dude. Charitable I got a contribution. Tax guy. Do I bring it to him? What do I say to him? Just make sure your tax guy didn't just lose a kid too. <laughs> Might be too fresh for him. <laughs> It might be too fresh, yeah. All right. Find a new tax guy it is. I yeah. got you. All right. Appreciate it, dude. Have a good one. All right. All right. This is uh, this is pretty much what the show's like. Gotcha. Yeah, so we're uh, we're waiting on Karen Fian. Um The 76ers won. 76ers won. They're looking good. What's Eagles your... are in the NFC Championship. Yeah, you think they're going to win? I Obviously, do. I'm very do. confident. Who are they playing again? The 49ers. 49ers, yeah, yeah. From San Francisco. Um, yeah, no, they look great. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. I, I don't think I've been this confident in a team in my entire life. Sure. To be honest with you. Really? A bunch of, of Ray Lewis's on that team. A bunch <laughs> of killers. <laughs> well, listen, um, you didn't yeah. think they were going to win. I guess the Nick Foles year, they, nobody thought they were going to win. Or no, got some more but I thought that was great. <sighs> hello, thanks for calling the bathhouse. Uh, hello, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. I called in to get some advice. Okay, shoot. So my name's Brad. Um, I What's recently up, moved, and Brad, hold on, we got a whore coming in here and show an opinion too. I'm sorry. Uncalled for. <laughs> you want to sit there? Do you... What do you want me to do? I want to sit in the middle. Get okay, out. sorry, okay. I was just kidding about that whore thing. Ring in my face. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, we just want to get her. We want to get now. the female opinion too, and she's putting her headphones. No, on. it might actually help. We could have used you sure. for the last guest, actually, Kara. You're a guy, right? Person on the phone, you're a guy. 
Karen, yes, can I am. everybody. Karen, okay. do you remember the rule? You can hang up on anybody at any point for any reason. Uh, oh, is, <laughs> is your mic not on? Johnny? Hello. There we now go. Now it is. Thanks, there we Johnny. Go. Karen, there you go. Hey, guys. I'm going to slide over a hey little. Hey, guys. Welcome. Oh, yeah. well, well, then I'm going to be Good like amazing. in the crevice. No, you're good. The crevasse. You don't I'll, I'll move over. Does that help? He's good. Okay. I mean, I just like how the light shining in my eye. Yeah, yeah. So we ran a It's called lighting, sweetheart. Yeah. You guys know I'm not used to these professional sets. <laughs> You're I, like, right. I like a dirty mirror. Go ahead, caller. <laughs> I love saying that. Got it. So, like I said, I recently moved uh, about like six, nine months ago. Um, fairly it's young. Three months different. Because uh, a friend. <laughs> pretty big. <difference. laughs> it, it was it's it's recent months. enough. But, um. No, um, I, I recently moved across the country because a friend got me a job. Because you and killed, so three, social you killed three college students? <laughs> 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 uh, where did you move from where to where? No, I moved from Chicago to Spokane, Washington. So okay. hmm. um, I'm actually pretty close to the Idaho thing. Mm-hmm. 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 But, but, um, well you? No. Convenient. Do you have any evidence? No, I, I don't. No. Will you guys order me some chicken? Ah. Uh, so why'd you move for work? Uh, basically, you know, my friend got me a job. Gotcha. Um, I'm You're rooming doing, with doing him, stuff like that. Uh, I do consumer reporting. Gotcha. So background what? checks. Oh, background like checks. That. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Don't check yeah. me. Whoa, whoa, come up. I just saw my <laughs> fucking weird, weird internet searches about <laughs> Russian doctors. <laughs> Russian doctors. Well, hey, do you do we'll any to... background checks Whoa. on buttholes? Yeah, <laughs> I know. Ooh. I'm gonna get my social security <laughs> number tattooed around my asshole. Why is it such a big deal? <laughs> I, I, this Just is a the very four digits are fine. Canadian question. It's the last four. But is it like if you give out? That's the worst thing to do to give out your social security number. Yeah, it's not a good thing. Yeah. Like uh, you can totally get your yeah, whole no, life. Yeah, no, you can, uh, oh, three, you can basically just... get somebody's whole life. It's it's insane. It's weird because in Canada we have a social insurance number, which is like the same thing, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Like you can give it out. It's, I don't think you can get scammed like that. But Sounds very Canadian. It does. Yeah. No, oh, hey, it's, it's because just, of government documents. It's linked. Yeah. I think we're to everything too. important. Anyways, we're what, what, what's topic. the question here? Let, let's, Spokane, let's Washington. Spokane. You've been there so, six to nine months. Yeah. So my social circle is just my friends. Like it, his social sure. circle literally encircles mine. Like, think of a diagram. I'm a small circle. His whole entire circle encircles mine. Sure. So I feel like I'm third wheeling everything. But you're new to How town. do I make friends? Just hang out with his friends. Just be yourself. Oh, I think you got a cool, like, and I'm saying mm-hmm. this in a nice way. I like your goofy little voice. I think you sound fun. <laughs> you sound cool. You sound outgoing. Just believe in yourself, man. Go out without him yeah. what, do you, what do you do for fun? I mean, that's the thing. I don't really do anything. Get a it's dog. It's cold, so. Get a dog. I, I can't. My roommate's allergic to pets. He's allergic to basically right. everything fun. Are you friends with Kill your roommate? Your pussy ass roommate. <laughs> Sounds like you have a Jewish yeah. roommate. Why don't you just? <laughs> uh, here's what. You, okay, first you got to make enough mm-hmm. money so you don't need a roommate. I think he's young. He oh, sounds it's pretty, pretty young. cool living with him though. How yeah. old are you? I'm, I'm only 22. He doesn't have any friends, and you want him to move away from one person <laughs> that he likes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isolate yourself further. <laughs> horrible advice. <laughs> I think he needs some more responsibilities. <laughs> So do you like but, do, you, uh, do you go on dates? No, not really. It's the thing. I'm, I'm kind of just single right now. And so, you like women? Um, Are you on the apps? Yeah, I'm just living my life. Nah. Get on the apps. Yeah, what are you doing, man? Yeah, you, why would you not? The, the apps, apps are made for you. You're a 22 year old kid. Laps. Who lives yeah, in a it's just. You know what? Actually, I could see the apps being hard if you're a 22 year old man because, like, probably. Anybody like older? I, I just not don't interested, and then it's like you have no, probably twenty two to twenty to eighteen. I just don't have the money right Sounds now. Awesome. Too. Oh, oh, you can't yeah. take girls on dates. It's just like I, I recently had to go back home during like the holidays that and plane stinks, tickets for like two thousand like, dollars. So it was just like, like oh, love for everybody. Love for everybody, us. even if you're. How come you didn't do the clap <laughs> thing for me, Johnny? You're a fucking good. asshole. The button stuck. <laughs> I think poor people should be able to fall in love too. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. With that. You just have to find a woman who's as pathetic as you. A hundred percent. But I'm saying I'm just kidding, man. I was kidding. You're. No, I gotta figure yeah. out. A, I gotta figure out a button for them to hang up on us. I no, guess have he's right though. You just gotta find some like booger eater girl. No, there's another 22 year old in your situation who's new to town probably, and yeah, she's poor and like you know. Yeah, that is true. I guess. Doesn't it's have any interest. The, the problem, but the problem is, 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 is that there's an older guy with money who's willing to. 
What's can I tell you, like, at 22, I still had interests, you know? I mean, most of them were, like, public sex and drinking. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> What's the scenario? What's this gay guy looking for? Uh, he's, he's not gay. <laughs> it he's is a very nice man. Town. He just moved to a college town, Spokane, from, like, oh, I mean, Chicago. Yeah, but, like, he should be living in college. He's got be, no friends. It's a so it's like, I feel like I'm a different... I'm a different yeah, portion of life than most the, of these people my age. You're so the older it's, it's guy. Weird. You're 22. You know, just make sure she's 18 and yeah, you dude, do you your can best. Still <laughs> hang out. You might even be 60 in yeah, Washington. Dude, you're I, so young. You can still go hang out at whatever college is there. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's no difference between yeah, someone one true. year removed from college and oh. being in their last year of college. Yeah, dude, I can I just say every time I do this show, yeah. most of the calls are, how do I make a friend? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, dude, the last one was well, a guy. No, I, I listened to the Williams arc and, like, I took great interest in it and it just ended with yeah i don't have the room for the pool table I'm like oh fuck mm, yeah, yeah, you kind of yeah. sound like sam bankman freed by the way <laughs> this is him from you a literally are you, are you calling a fuck with me sam bankman freed give me my money back <laughs> i'm sorry i don't have any of your money i gambled it all away uh, so how many friends do you actually have well i have a lot of friends back in chicago that's it's not what i'm asking like you how many friends do you have friends- in, Spo- in uh, the new place uh, Spokane. Um, it's just a couple, really. Like, but dude, what you really can I say his, my you need friends quality. His friends too. You don't need quantity. Mm-hmm. You need quality. So That's just true. look for one other well, really good I friend. I, I just quantity. feel like I'm third wheeling with him. That's so I, like, honestly just stop feeling that way and then just like enjoy your life. <laughs> yeah, you're projecting. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yourself. I guess. Don't yeah, be I mean, you should be like this pussy's allergic to dogs. You should just like shit on him and then yeah, get all the like, girls. That's like alpha male shit, right? <laughs> Is you trying to t- take that spot from him? Yeah, to be like in the dominance hierarchy. Yeah. So he's a year out of college. <laughs> yeah, he just moved from moved. Chicago to Washington. Okay, and now he Spoken. wants to make Spokane. Spokane. It's not Spokane. I thought Spokane. we thought it was Spokane. He feels like he's just in this kid's Spokane. social circle. Spokane. He wants to make his own. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, you Spokane, mm-hmm. make some friends. <laughs> I don't know. From hearing him, I don't think he's going to be able to do it. I think he I will. Do. He's 20. <laughs> I'll, I'll eat that. Whatever shit. that is, I'll eat it. I just come out here and ruin people's lives. <laughs> no, I think you're a sweet kid. <laughs> and I think you got to stop being so hard on yourself. Can I order a margarita pizza? Um, sorry, um, that was. I have one more question for you. (laughs) Are you ever honest Mm -hmm. with this kid that you think you're the third wheel on? Do you ever like tell him like, "Hey, man, I feel like the third wheel." No, it's just I don't know. It's I I just kind of do everything with him. This guy, by the way, sounds exactly like Sam Bankman Fried. It's fucking. (laughs) (laughs) He does. He sounds exactly like him. Margarita pizza. Uh, exactly like him. But um. So when you say third wheeling, like is it he's with a woman and you're coming along? Because like, it's not, no, like no joke. It just really no bothers joke. me. Like that... I live, I live with him and his girlfriends. Like that's what I mean. It's just oh. kind of like a little weird, isn't it? Oh. Wait, but he doesn't hang out girlfriend? with friends, like guy friends. That's well, no, we have guy friends, but his guy friends are also my guy friends. So that's fine. Like, that's not third wheeling. That's with everybody. Are you gay at all? At all? No, I'm not. Okay. Exactly. I'm sorry. He, he's like this <laughs> pesky girl keeps getting in the way of what we have. Yeah, I mean, no, you know, you no. we're, all, we're just circling around the drain here on this, aren't it's we? All, it's okay if you are. You just you know you have an effeminate voice, right? Yeah, no, no. Don't worry about that. Don't I'm talk good. to Sam Bankman for you. Yo, can I give I'm you not an honest? There's nothing tip? wrong with it at all. No. Start playing Magic: The Gathering, dude. It fucking rules. It's fun. Oh my god. You, you can, play no, with them? Th- I used to play it. No, pl- please don't. I-, I already play Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I, can, I, can I can smell my people here, nothing. dude. What does playing entail? What I got does that back mean? into Yu-Gi-Oh over the pandemic. Yuki. Yuki. Well, the, the problem with Yu-Gi-Oh and Magic is that you have to spend like three hundred dollars to just <laughs> to do anything. Yeah, he doesn't friends. have a lot of money. <laughs> So what, I would, capture yeah. little pretend Is that why you don't have money? I, I will say, like, uh, this maybe no, might be a little... I'm, I, I'm doing okay for myself. It's just yeah. like I said. How I would you... I've had, like, a lot of costs recently. How, I just can't go out and date right now. How would you rate yourself physically, 1 to 10? I would say... Can I'm I guess like his five. attributes? I used to be a lot better. You, yeah, sorry. sure, go ahead. Go are, for it. Are you little? I just wanted to hear what he said. I'm smaller, yes. Yeah. Medium, dark hair, little? skinny, <laughs> white. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. curly hair, <laughs> glasses. Nah, s- straight hair, glasses. And uh, hair glasses. you have a tough. mole on your chest on the left side. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> God. That's that great. is actually scary. I did have a birthmark on my chest. It was removed though. Used to play Yu-Gi-Oh with this kid. <laughs> yeah. Used to fuck him after. <laughs> I have a friend with this kid. <laughs> yeah, but me. You- Listen, like, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mm-hmm. be like your father for a minute. If you think you can, or if you think you can't, I think either, you're gonna molest him. Yeah, 
Either way, <laughs> yeah, it, it, either it's way, not you're that I right. Don't think I can. Son, it's just, son, is it, is son, it weird? Keep it down for a second. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is like, you're saying you don't have any money for like dating a chick, right? You need to save up a little bit of money so you can take a chick mm-hmm. to yeah. the fucking movies. It's yeah. not an impossible I, thing for you to do, man. I, tell totally. him, Tom. I would tell just him, go Tom. Andrew Tate, Jordan Peterson school here yeah, and just improve yourself. Alpha, yeah. No, Important. just improve yourself first. Just pick a girl, yeah. start doing pull-ups in front of her house. We're the just, rest again, will fall in we're, just, <laughs> we're just start by saving $50. Sure. Like, yeah, but also... Not, not, dare I, I her $50. You can't do 10 pull-ups. It's not the problem. You can date for sure. It's free, isn't it? You're not willing to spend your money, you fucking... Yeah, exactly. It's like no. a lot of it's tied up. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pay a lot of it back. <laughs> Kevin O'Leary's calling. I gotta go. <laughs> Clawbacks are gonna be a bitch. No, dude, I used to go on dates for like literally five dollars a date. You fucking go to coffee and a walk. Yeah, but you were a coxman back then. This kid can't even a fucking coxman. tie his shoe. He's like, the coffee will kill me. <laughs> yeah, I can't have caffeine. <laughs> Nah, man, but uh, if you have money, you got to spend it. Stop being a bitch. Yo, you dude, gotta square your shoulders money, up. Money, baby. No, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying spend all of it, but it's not that expensive to take a girl out on a date. Just try it and see how it goes. Uh, you have any idea how much this money this guy's giving to Twitch girls every month? Yeah, what's your uh, thought? Budget? No, I don't. Come on, come on, come on. I don't, I don't, I'm, mm-mm. Mm-mm. I do not have that kind of money. I actually mm-hmm. like this kid. He's, he laughs yeah. at himself. He's, cool. he's likable. Yeah, he's I think you got to believe in yourself, baby. Get out there. You <laughs> yeah, can man. do it. I want to know what number you yourself. rate yourself. Yeah, he, he, said said five. Five. he said five. Oh, he said five. I missed said five. Don't yeah, fucking snap at me like so that. So I will say right? that. What are you going to do? I will say that if you think Bigger you're a five, you. <laughs> you could easily get yourself to a seven. Absolutely. 100%. So that's what I would focus on before trying to go on dates is getting go get yourself to a seven Get that leg lengthening surgery. What do they do with the how tall, you, how tall, uh, how tall are you? No, I'm not going to break my leg. No, I don't know. How tall are you? Fuck that's expensive, that. too. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the, the, even if you are a five, you have to think that you are an eight, and that alone will get you more it will. pussy. Girls fall for that shit all the time. Yeah. We're retarded. That's true. Yeah. I told my we love a charming. You can be a little guy, but if you're charming, we like it. Uh-huh. Did any of this help you? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I did work out a lot. It was just, I felt like, I'm, I'm short. That's like the problem. It's not. It's your season. How short are you? You're short you're not season. So like so like I'm, I'm, I'm like 5'4". <laughs> I'm 5'4". So it's like, it, that's the problem. I, that's I, if, I, if, I, if I get too fit, I become manlet. No, that's still better. No, five, four, there's nothing wrong with getting too. Buddy, I think you're always looking for the problem, and you gotta not. But listen, you I'm, gotta yeah, just yeah. change your perspective. Uh, I'm, it's I'm five self-talk. one, and like more short girls are going for short guys. Yeah, it looks better in yeah. pictures. All right, Lev Fair, everybody. He'll be back. Thanks, Lev. Or maybe he won't. Thanks for honest. stopping by, Lev. Thank Appreciate you very much. It. Yeah, Lev's hosting oh, the show. We all just look three Lev's inches taller. Thanks, Lev. <laughs> I loved you in the and whale. Two hundred pounds lighter. <laughs> 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 oh, the seats just went up. I mean, they reinflated. Oh, 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 he, he, he hung up on us. Nah, Literally. but he was. He said thank you. He's a yeah. good kid. If oh, you're man. listening, we love you, buddy, and you gotta love yourself. Yeah, okay. It's gonna be okay. Le- Lev will be back. Lev's hosting the show that's in the main room right now. So, so uh, he, he just has to go do his hosting duties. I just ordered a pizza, so <sighs> nice. I'm, I'm gonna stay till that. Cool. You missed um, the last guy who called in. He gave a hundred dollars uh, to a coworker to for a uh, baby gift, and then they had a very late uh miscarriage <laughs> you want that back <laughs> yeah he was trying you to figure trying out get a refund was was if, he was asking was. if he listen could, yeah. they're not gonna use a tickle me elmo i mean i could probably get a refund <laughs> <laughs> i could get back the long is uh <laughs> store credit baby <laughs> <laughs> he was uh not a man he's not his i didn't think um. <laughs> <laughs> you should do that voice all the time <laughs> Just really lean in. I, I will say I didn't know that was it. that was in your bag. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know. I that. A lot. I'm a mystery. I you are a mystery. That. What other mysteries yeah. do we have? Okay, yeah. uh, mostly gonorrhea of the throat. <laughs> gonorrhea of the throat. Yeah. Karen, for your national mics. treasure. <laughs> Real sweetheart. Hello, you're on the bathhouse. Hello. Hey. Go ahead, caller. Hey, Danny. What's going on, man? Hey, what's up, man? What's up? <laughs> What's going on? My name's Matt. I'm from Kansas City. Matt from Kansas City. How you doing? Fuck, is that my phone? Fuck. Sorry. We'll get it. It's fine. Damn it. Pretty good, man. So I, uh, so I was man. just calling in so I could say, uh, somebody get this woman some fucking pizza because she's hungry. We, <laughs> we got it. We got the <laughs> simps. The simps have made it into the... Simpies. The, they're probably like order. Hey, Matt. You know what? Uh, Matt, order a pizza from the Stan Comedy Club and have it sent to the green room and pay for it just for proper simping. Oh, thanks, Matt. You're the best. Thanks for worrying about me. Why do I sound hangry? Hell yeah, girl. I got you. No problem. Thanks. <laughs> Matt, Matt, how tall are you? 
You sound tall. Uh, six three. I can tell. He does oh. sound tall. I knew it, it is weird. I he sounds it. like the opposite of that other kid who just called. <laughs> no, yeah. it's like twins. <laughs> is this Arnold's? Uh, don't be so mean to my guy for Spokane. No, he's yeah. a good kid. That wait, kid, no, he's a good kid. We're we're gonna turn him around. We're gonna get that kid. Uh, I can't remember his name, but we're gonna we're gonna sort him out. Wait, Matt, you live in Pennsylvania? Hey, I mean, shout out to the guy from Spokane, real quick. I'm sure, dude, you can pull in some pussy. You just gotta try, though. Hell yeah, oh, dude! Nice. I love I love that our I callers. I love that are positive attitude. I know that. I like that shit. So, um, is that is that all you wanted to call in about the pizza? Do you want to have sex with Karen without a uh, condom no, on? No, man. I... <laughs> do what? Do you want to have sex with Karen without a condom on? She'll do a Mexican <laughs> accent. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, nothing amigo, that's been no said so far is untrue. <laughs> <laughs> now she's doing a Woody Allen. What the fuck is going because on? Because her amazing uh, nothing that's been <laughs> said so far Wait, is untrue. I want to hear Matt, you guys. Go ahead. No, no. As, as lovely as she sounds, um, I'm already spoken for. Sorry, dear. Wow, like, you're just making yourself. her you're one probably year even more. Girlfriend. She's <laughs> probably a fucking pig. I fucking hate her. She probably has back Ma- Matt probably over here knows all the things to say. <laughs> yeah, dude. He goes, I'm unavailable. Hey, Whatever, other Matt. caller, take notes from this guy. Yeah. Jesus. This is his roommate. <laughs> yeah, it is. I wish you were right, but honestly, honestly, I've never pulled in anything more than I should have. You know, I was like, low numbers, honestly. Gotcha. What do you mean? Like for like rating out of 10 or just the amount of women you've been with? Uh, the amount of women, you know, like I, I think I'm a solid like seven, eight, but like I never really tried very hard. Oh, and then you just found, and then now you're married. Uh, yeah, essentially. I mean, we're, we're due to be married soon. <laughs> oh, okay. They're, gotcha. due. They're due to get married yeah. soon. Are you engaged? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay, all right. That's it. That's all. Later, Matt. Yeah, yep. Matt. That's it. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> By the way, shout out to our lovely producer, Johnny Glover. Johnny! On the ones Sorry, man. Love don't live here no more. <laughs> no. I'm talking about Karen's I'm vagina. Surrounded, <laughs> surrounded by so much matrimony. Cassidy's got his big wedding ring on. Oh, yeah. My big ring. Big Who's ring. this, Danny? I think this might be the mayor. Maybe not. <laughs> Hello? Of what? <laughs> Hello, it's the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> He's the mayor of this town in Colorado. Oh, cool. I, I missed, I muted myself just before I called in. I, I'm not sure what I missed. Uh, I just said, I go, I saw your number and I go, I think it's the mayor. And she goes, like, what did you say? Oh, what? <laughs> what? And yeah. then you go, hey, it's the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. He's the, he's the mayor. Was it Keensburg? Yes, sir. That's right. The mayor of Keensburg, Colorado. Nice. Oh. Hello, Mayor. Should I curtsy? Yeah. This is such a great way to find out that oh, town please. is doing horribly. Yeah. <laughs> no, the town's doing good now that he's in. Yeah. How's, so, the, how's the parking up there? Oh, it's great. There's uh, always spots that are free. Nice. Yeah, dude. P- promote your town. Let's 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 get people moving there. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, well what's again, the, I'm, I'm what's very the number one? That- What's the number one, like, on the brochure for Keensburg? What's, like, number one why you should move to Keensburg? Near Denver? Uh, uh, well, yeah. I mean, again, if, if you care about the city and all that kind of stuff. He's like, we have a low uh, amount of very Jews. Commutable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot no, of Jews. The, the number one reason is, uh, I mean, just for the, the quiet country living. Sure. Yeah. But, uh, of course, a lot of fun drinkers, good bars, and... Uh, Fun community activities. There we go. He's a libertarian. He's a libertarian. Is this what you ran on? A libertarian? A lot of drinking. (laughs) No. All right, you should. (laughs) That's cool. Uh, um, So how how are things in the town? Did you guys find a city manager? This guy fucking first day clean house. That's the way to do it. That's right. I mean, on your recommendation. That was my recommendation, too. He fired this woman who had been working there for 15 years and was making, what was it, 150 grand a year? Wow. That's right. Just yeah. freed up some money. I like it. Yeah, we did. So any leads on the city manager or what? Yeah, well, we, we uh, just hired an interim town manager that's going to be in for about six months while we get someone permanent. And uh, hopefully we can get somebody that's uh, not as much in the government and we can pay a, a good bit less. Nice. Why don't you, like, outsource it on, like, one of those websites? Like, why don't you just find someone to, like, just outsource? Can, can that job be outsourced? Or would that be like your response? I wouldn't say outsourced. Uh, what would, what I mean, would you I say, we'll, Mayor? Uh, we really can't outsource it as much as we can uh, probably get some you know, recruiting agency or something. Okay. But uh, mm. I, I don't even really want to go that route as much as just find somebody that's good. Okay. And so how'd you find the uh, the new uh, the interim one? Someone local? 
I guess I have to. Be. Is this the bureaucratic part of the podcast? It's just, no, so it's just we have we have a mayor call. <laughs> we have a mayor. I don't know. We, no, it's <laughs> nice. I'm saying, does he call every week? Uh, no, he doesn't call, but he calls a lot. We, okay, it's, yeah. it's been uh, it's been a running thing. Yeah, I yeah. don't mean to disparage it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is just, I mean, this guy's fucking powerful. Yeah. This is not an enemy you want to make, Tom Cassidy. It's uh, it's been a it's. We've just moved. He, does he have a question, or do we just no, check in on his mayor? Show. Okay, he's cool. so confident in his mayorness. He's like, no question. You guys got <laughs> questions for me? Fair enough. We're like, yeah. What time? What time is street parking? <laughs> uh, yeah. So, Tom, uh, can I ask you a mayor yours, question? By the way. Oh, by all means, that's part of why I called in. On a scale, like on a mayor scale, one to ten, where do you put Rob Ford? That's a ten out of ten. I would agree. He's one of the legends for He's sure. A living legend, dude. Legend, dude. Does, as a bear, does it make you kind of want to do crack on camera? Oh hell yeah, man! You don't even know. <laughs> I, I've gone right down the Rob Ford uh, rabbit hole, oh, yeah. and I know, dude. He used to fucking drink by himself in a, in his old elementary school in the woods. I'm studying to play him in a movie. <laughs> so, nice. So did I. Going deep undercover, I like it. <laughs> I'm totally messing. That's, yeah, that's yeah. why all the weight. That, that explains the weight gain. Yeah. Cardigan, gate under pass, <laughs> losing teeth, <laughs> eating pussy again. <laughs> are, are you, Mr. Mayor? Are you married? Yes, sir. I am. Nice. Do you think that helped you win? It shows you can oh, stand the sight of a broad for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can definitely say it helped me win. Nice. Democrat or Republican? Are you He's a libertarian. Are you closeted oh, yeah, you gay? That, sorry. Did you use her to help you yeah. win? I'm sorry, Karen. Can you say it again? <laughs> Never mind. She asked if you were a closeted homosexual <laughs> and you're, were you using your wife as a pawn in your play to win <laughs> mayor? <laughs> like, kind of, I can't believe someone How's is... cards ish? I can't believe someone's struggling yeah. to talk through a pizza here, and it's Karen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm Plot twist. I'm trying to eat it before you guys get to it. <laughs> um, we'll just, you I'm just fucking time. with you, Mayor. <coughs> What's your day-to-day -day like, Mayor? Any interns trying to suck oh, your dick? Oh, this isn't a full-time job. Uh, all right. Really? Yeah. Well, any interns trying to suck your dick? How much time do you spend, actually, on the mayor, being the mayor a week? Where else do you work? Uh, Foot action? Probably What's going on here? <laughs> He's a nurse. No, I'm a nurse by trade, uh, and uh, I'm fortunate that I, I do a remote job, so I got the extra hours, but probably five to six hours a week uh, devoted to the mayor stuff. Wow. That's it? How many people do you got in your town? It's 2,000, I think. Oh, that's yep, tiny. Roughly. I could run 2,000 people with my pussy. <laughs> Yeah, they'd Don't run all right. <laughs> <laughs> they'd run as soon as they saw it. <laughs> it does look like roadkill. Um, uh, hey, guys, that hurts my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> fucking town smells like a landfill. What's going on here? This is the best show I've ever been on, by yeah, the way. Fun, this right? is we great. Got, this is insane. It's the stupidest show I've we ever done. You had a mayor? This is amazing. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is good stuff. Um, you only spent five to six hours a week? I thought you were spending more time on this. <laughs> no, I, I mean, you know. Dude, I've been going around telling tracks. everybody I'm friends with the mayor. Left oh well, I mean it's true. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Uh, any any update on the traffic on the traffic light? They have a, they have an intersection six six di fatalities a year on this thing. Dude, you got to clock in about ten yeah, hours actually, a week uh, now. <laughs> what are you doing? People uh, are dying at this intersection. Yeah, actually, You're doing six hours. Well, with, with that one it, again, there's a lot of different moving pieces. I did meet with uh, one of our county commissioners today. You are and, a uh, we're getting that tongue fox, my friend. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to fucking it's the next governor of Colorado, Billy Clinton, to. right now. Though, you're fucking pulling this topsy turvy on me right now. Holy shit! Wow. Cool. Yeah. All right. So yeah, that, that, it's definitely in the works. We're we're, we're excited. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be in much sooner rather than later. Looks like the funding <laughs> is all coming together for that roundabout, so we're not going to have to pay as much as we thought, and uh, the, where, the state's going to be kicking in. Where does your money come from? The rest. From nursing. Oh, you know, taxes, water, just, you know, generic government bullshit. You guys have a casino? Not yet. That was that was kicked around at one of the last meetings. I, is that an often thing where a town of 2,000 people gets a fucking casino? Do you guys have well, a there's a town in, uh, there's a town in the mountains just west of, of Denver that's uh, called Blackhawk that legalized casinos. And within five years, they had four that are pretty close to Las Vegas size. Okay. And it, it's also a town of about 2,000 people, and, and what's their happened revenue to the is town? unbelievable. What's happened to the town? Is it like death? Like, because uh, where I come from in Canada, everywhere that has a casino becomes a shithole. 
It like it's a curse. Well, it's almost. too small. I, I mean, it's it's way up in the mountains. It, it's kind of surrounded by canyons, so there isn't any land for them to just sprawl and expand. Okay. So it's it's I mean it's doing okay. You know, there's just a lot of the surrounding areas that do have that space just become you know communities that people work or live there and work in, in the casinos. I get casinos because of like the hookers and stuff, but like who even needs a casino anymore anyway? It's all in the palm of your hand anyway. Yeah, but people your like your future to go. in comedy. I mean, you need casinos, <laughs> but. Tommy, let me tell you, it's the old people again. As a nurse, I used to work with uh, a lot of people in their homes. And those casinos have uh, buses that travel daily from Denver up into Blackhawk. Sure, you're right. You're so right. there's a lot of old people that love to who go do, and. Uh, who do I send my avails? Who do I send my avails to? We're gonna get a comedy festival. That's why we're, 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 this is the next plan. If we're gonna put that in the 2024 budget, yeah. Keen's whatever comedy festival. Uh-huh. That'd be a good time. That's yeah. right. Yeah, we'll, we'll How far that. do your political aspirations go? Is this it, or do you want to do you want to keep going? I'm just gonna ask that. Well, well you yeah, you're fucking stuffing your face with pizza. When were you going to slip that in? I was going to ask that. All right. <laughs> Take it easy, Chef Howard D. We're trying to fucking get some... Qu- That's why you guys... Are just, the patriarchy is just stifling me again. Uh, I was going to ah, ask that question. The patriarchy yeah, made this time. pizza. Um, so, so do you want to go... F- Karen wants to ask you how far do your political aspirations go. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be frank, I, I got four years as mayor, and then we'll, I we'll see. Was mayor. Mayor. I got the... <laughs> yeah, one, one job at a time. I get it. <laughs> one job at a time. Yeah. yeah. So How I, many lives do you uh, think you've saved nursing? Have you ever? Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry, guys. One at a time. Come on. It's a professional show. Well, I mean, I, I saved someone uh, from drowning. If that counts. Yeah, that's that counts. Good. Was they there were a, an adult or a child? They were drowning in the hospital. But, no, I was, I was at a hot spring were, were with my now wife. <laughs> no, no. I, I was at a hospital with uh, my now wife, and uh, I noticed this old woman that was kind of struggling and, you know, going on under and above and under and above, and no one was paying attention. So I, I, you know, it was awkward, but stepped in and pulled her up, and she was just struggling to breathe and called for help. And her family came over, and they got somebody to come give her CPR, and she came back to life, and her family didn't give, give a fuck at all. It was really weird. Dude, Karen's that's a crazy story. But Karen shot juicy ass pizza just went all over the <laughs> fucking table. Just... I'd like to drown Karen right now. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking pig. <laughs> oh. I she's drowning herself. It looks like. Dang. We're friends. Um, but, um, you guys, I'm all right. All right, Aaron. We're going to let you go. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. Thanks, Thank you. Let me know if you need Take any care. help. Yeah, Thank if you, you need any help, service. we'll come out there. Let awesome. Us, Aaron. Aaron, the mayor of uh, Keensburg. Hey. I'll go help out. Yeah, sure. we'll go there. He said it's closer to the Denver airport than Denver. Right. By help out, do you mean eat an entire pizza in front of? Yeah, three this men? is fucking impressive. There's people literally <laughs> masturbating. To I'm this willing right to now. help. Yeah. Uh, hello. <laughs> Thanks. For hey, what's up? Us. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, uh, I actually have no idea what this show is about. Uh, Neither just, do uh, we. You guys want to hear something I, wild? Yeah. <laughs> I just walked off stage, <laughs> and a girl that gave me a hand job five years ago on the road just. Was like, hey, and grabbed my hand sitting yeah, on the side too, of the stage. Yeah, me too, me too, me too. She white knuckle you? Well, don't say me too, job? but <laughs> yeah, on the road years ago. Nice. Which road? <laughs> it was the mayor knows. <laughs> <laughs> it was real local. The mayor. Um, so what's up? Why are you, why are you calling in here? Because uh, I want to know what the hell is going on. I don't know. Do you guys? Do you have any questions? Yeah. Do you have like anything <laughs> that's bothering you? No, I hung up on him. Okay. Just want to know what's going on. I mean, it's pretty clear what's going on. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, so we're hanging out. We're, just we're hanging out in the mayor. bathhouse. Yeah. Danny, that guy sounded hot. Did he? Call, he call <laughs> Dude, you're like a cat in heat tonight. I know. Jesus Christ, yeah, this pizza's making on? you horny. I'm, I'm ovulating. Holy oh, shit! Did you like take I'm testosterone I'm replacement <laughs> or something? <laughs> Look no. at Karen pretending she's still ovulating. <laughs> I, <swear to> God. <laughs> I know. Good, I that's good branding. She's got a couple years in it. She's like, I'm giving men a pause. All right, you can show yourself. (laughs) That woman like her hand job back, Lev. (laughs) (laughs) So what she just what what did she want from you? Bring her in here. Just say hello. Bring her on here. Yeah, have her like when you go to. Can you ever call in? (laughs) Do I call? (laughs) Can we have her call in? (laughs) Oh, can we have her call in? I don't. She doesn't have my new phone number. And describe the hand job. Hello. Hello. Hey, what's up? Who's this? I just want to say that uh, it's a myth. Uh, it's a myth. What's a myth? This is Tony Scarboni, everybody. Shout out to Tony Scarboni. How's it going, man? What's going on? Uh, tall people. Girls don't want tall people. That's. Uh, Are you tall, Tony? They say they end up going for a shorter guy. 
Tall, that's no not way. true. Tall um, is definitely the way I to go. I think we found the one tall guy that doesn't get laid. I've gotten every single <laughs> oh, chick you know, in my life that's from being actually, tall. It's sad because he we, he called in a few weeks ago and he's been having some issues with some ladies. How tall are you, Tony? How, how tall is Danny? I'm 6'2". 6'1", 6'2". What are you length I'm like... like what? No, like, like maybe voice? four inches taller than Danny. <laughs> Four inches shorter. I'm a square. <laughs> taller. Taller than Danny. You're six six, Tony Scarbonis. I'm 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 I fucking tower over every single person in the comment section at the show. <laughs> in the I tower section. over James Ulster. I tower over Ryan Long. I fucking tower over all. And of you deal. still can't get fucking some ass out there you're in Vancouver. Too tall, I guess. Right? Is that what you're saying? Uh, Vancouver's bankrupt. I'm taller than all. Mm. Do you think it's maybe some uh, this negative self-talk? That he he is honestly kind of negative. <laughs> well, he literally he doesn't say hello. He goes, "It's a myth." It's a myth. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, "Who is this?" <laughs> they don't want tall guys. <laughs> yeah, he's referencing something from like <laughs> he's 20 minutes he ago. Started it like a, <laughs> I don't even remember. Yeah, he started his uh, call like a Phantom of the Opera track. <laughs> It's yeah, a myth. It's a myth. Maybe that's the problem. I don't think it's the height. It's Sweeney Tall. <laughs> <laughs> the tallest faggot on please. <laughs> Did I just demonetize us? <laughs> nah, I can't we be on a podcast if people are going to say faggot. Sorry, Karen. You guys can't say faggot. Mm, sorry. Okay. Everybody Lab. promise not to say faggot. I promise not to say faggot. Don't show me. Oh, that was a perfect bleep uh, right there. <laughs> God damn. I was I like, I thought, you said I thought the I had word. A, <laughs> <laughs> just I, that up I thought I had a seizure right there. Just for a to second. be safe, I won't say Lev's name either. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Tom. Whoa. What the hell? I thought we were uh, roofing. <laughs> t- Tony, so is it safe to say that your love life is not doing good since we last spoke? Is is it a myth? Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, he Did you just hear a him. gunshot? <laughs> we walked in. <laughs> Tony Scarboni, everybody. <laughs> hey, he's a good kid. Yeah, he's a good guy. He, he calls a lot on the uh, my other Colin show that I do, and he's just mm-hmm. he's having a tough time. He went on the day. Well, yeah, he's named after a fucking pasta. I don't think that's his real name. Tony, if you're still Tony listening, you know the hard times don't last. You know, just like the good times, baby. All right. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Danny? Hey, what's up, Maurice? Uh, doing good. I never watched you on the bathhouse. Saw you on the notification, so that I call in. Okay, cool. How's it going? Nice. Good. Hey, actually, uh, I was going to ask some you. Advice. Sorry, sorry. Oh yeah, okay. Go, go, uh, go. Shoot. Oh no, you're. You, you sounded really excited. You no, go. I was asking you about your cat. You did ketamine therapy. How that's uh, how uh, he did get ketamine every day for like a week. Nice. I so does Chloe the brand. Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering how that take. How that took. Oh wow. Well. Uh, really good. And I guess that's like some of the like clarity I got from that. Some advice I'm asking. Okay. Cool. Shoot. Um. Whether I should break up with my girl or oh not. Oh, my God, no. You're asking Wait, hear him out. Hear him out. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, uh, I don't know. I, like, part of me kind of feels that, like, I'm just staying in the relationship because I don't want to hurt her feelings. Mm. Yeah, that so, like, break up. Yeah, that's, I mean, there's people, know, like, there are people who have, like, literally, you know, they, they get married they get and married they live for unhappily them. for the uh, rest of their lives just to not have dude, that conversation. Yes, dude. Yesterday, I was watching a true crime doc where the husband murdered the wife, and I sympathize with the husband. <laughs> <laughs> pretty yeah. sick. You That's should pretty probably, sick. You should probably break up with this woman you before you murder her. You gotta start doing open mics, dude. Kill her. No, he did yeah. ketamine th- therapy. He, he wouldn't kill her. He'll just kind of just, he'll white knuckle it, if you will. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think all men feel like I don't want to break up with my chick because she wouldn't deal with it. But if that's like, you think about that a lot. Joe the shark, everybody. Joe the shark. Joe the, the shark, everybody. Say hello. Um, is there anything good about the relationship? Sparkling if you have it. I can't believe this guy has yeah, a but, girlfriend. He sounds like a nerd. No, Maurice is cool. Well, well that's a little mean. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Don't, don't listen to her, Maurice. Is the relationship, like, what are the positives and what are the negatives? Let's weigh them out that way. Uh, the positives are, you know, she's a really great cook. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she, always, she always, like, plans things, which is kind of nice. Okay. okay. But then, like, th- that's a double-edged sword because it does become very naggy. If I, like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> that's oh, all. Because she's making, she's filling up your schedule, <laughs> buddy. That's all women. So yeah. Yeah. that is. No, my girlfriend, you doesn't, doesn't, my girlfriend she... doesn't plan shit. No. Do you want to be great. in a relationship with the chick? If not, get the fuck out. Wait, let them talk. Let let them get through the positives and the negatives. Okay. So what are the negatives? Uh, the negatives. Is that you want to murder her? Like any of my interests. <laughs> Yeah. She doesn't like any of my interests. You know, I'm like, hey, you should check out this movie. I like, like, 
she would just like avoid the movie. Honestly, or just, like, that's so overrated to have similar important. interests. Yeah. My wife that's does like, that all the time. That's like young people shit. How old are you again, Maurice? You're in twenties. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, uh, I'm telling you, you're like, that's young people. Yeah. I, you go, oh, we want uh, similar interests. When, Honestly, you want opposite interests so that she'll leave you the fuck alone. True, yeah. true, 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 true. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's a good thing. You'll I mean, grow, you'll grow into her, that. but like, <laughs> your next chick, <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Maurice, the real question is if you can't see yourself with her in like five years, then you might as well get out of it now and don't waste her time or your time. That's a good point. I agree with Tom. You know what? Oh, I, 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 really good you point. know what I think is like a really good. I would love if Tom this, goes home and gets divorced. <laughs> there should be, honey. We have a dog. <laughs> there should be for like spineless men, like a breakup, like surrogate, where you can get somebody to go do the breakup oh, for you. Like, would you, you like care. Maurice? How much would you pay? Lev will do it, and you pay him in hoagies. How, literally, how much would you pay for someone to just call up your girl and just be like, Dude, hey, I would, I'm shitting I would on Lev when he leaves. Pay a thousand. <laughs> yeah. Like if Karen was like to like just to send a message, of like, oh, nice. She'll finger herself and do it. So <laughs> you could sweeten Tom, the pot a little. telling truths about me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's so much fun. I, I wish I got booked here. It's so much fun hanging out with you guys. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can come any Wednesday night you want. I'll put in a word. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, I mean, he's like, does a podcast with Adele. I yeah, know. We stopped doing that. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Don't so tell me I was the last episode. That's no, a good weren't. idea. Okay. Top you nine. Back, you should have had me back. I'm the podcast queen of the Eastern Seaboard. You sure are, sweetheart. <laughs> but yeah, man, I think that's it, man. Also, like, it's like Wait. you don't have to have similar interests, really. But like, do you feel like she's your friend? I know that's gay. That's but, so. But do you feel like she's your friend? And if she's mm. not, uh, that's a good question. That should be a quick answer. Yeah, though, yeah, that really, yeah. I mean, if that's you're taking that yes, long that's to think about no. that, okay. yeah. like I got married because I love my Is wife it? and she's my friend. Sure. Yeah, she keeps his yeah, secrets. I was really gonna explore these emotions. So <laughs> she leaves for a trip starting tomorrow, uh -huh. and I'm just gonna really feel like, oh, am I missing her or am I longing? Yeah, you know, no, 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 no you're gonna love that she's break. gone and you got time on your own. But yeah. Are you like craving like you can't wait to cheat on her? When no, she, when no, she I leaves. wouldn't see. I would just. You wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Have you thought yeah, about no, it? No. Okay. Was there anybody that would if cheat you that you could cheat with? Uh, I, I mean, not really. Maybe you, you know, other. if you're bringing it. Don't answer any of these horse questions, Maurice. <laughs> Imagine she's... Yeah, these are very leading questions. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah it's a new philosophy. <laughs> That's how they put pedophiles away. Yeah. She's Chris Hansening you yeah. right now. Yeah, I would say Listen. that the friend thing is like... It's it's a good... It's a nice... You it's have to the, be it's not a need in a relationship. No, I you think have you got to be friends. friends. You have to be able to hang out. Friendly. Like, that's what a relationship is. Shut up. You're friends with Heather. We're all I friends am with friends Heather. with my girlfriend. Sorry I'm just saying. What do you mean? That out. I'm saying that I've had girlfriends that I'm not like. But they're not your girlfriend anymore. Yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, they're Jenny, just like I don't know. They break up with previous girlfriends. I just moved to a different country. <laughs> that helps. Oh, well. and just kind of let, okay. let the distance do its Dude, work. Breakups are hard, but you have to do it. Like the yeah. alternative is so much worse. Like you have to do it. If you want to break up, you have to break up. Yeah. Or you can't just sit and suffer for the rest of your life. There's yeah. other pussy out there. Do you guys bro. live together? Uh, no, we don't. She oh, just okay. comes over and cooks for you. Do you already have the ingredients, or do you guys go shopping together for the ingredients? No, I usually just go buy the ingredients myself, and uh, then I was like, I'll just bring them. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you been going out with her? Um, a year and a half. Ooh. Okay. Because now you're getting into this territory where you're like, okay, well, year we got to make time. some. We got to make some decisions. Year and a half is when things usually kind of end, though, too. Sure. Yeah, it's either yeah. you go yeah. next level, or yeah, you yeah, end you bail. It. Although, okay, shout out yeah. to, you ever meet those guys and they're like, I mean, William actually, who calls into the show, he was like, he's been with his girl for 10 years and they're not even married. Mm -hmm. They just got engaged, I think. Shout out yeah. to Damn. Him. Yeah. Maybe you need advice from William. Yeah. I like to go to bed. <laughs> See how you feel when she leaves. Play it out a little bit, but uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't elongate it more Change than Change the has locks to be. while she's gone. She, they don't even live together. <laughs> just in case. Just like, in case. Yeah. She, girl, chicks get crazy. You sound like a hot piece. And that's the other thing, man. If she takes it bad when you're just honest with her, then then you know you made the right decision. 
I mean, nobody likes to get broken up with, and chicks usually are crazy when you break up with them. Yeah, especially when yeah, you get that. Yeah. yeah, especially when Tom breaks up with the chick. Especially they go when you crazy, got that. They kill themselves. <laughs> especially when you got that sweet D. <laughs> nice, it's Maurice. Uh, sweet D. <laughs> uh, all right, dude, dude, dude. hopefully we helped you out there, Maurice. All right, cool. Thank you, Danny. Have a good night. Later, buddy. Okay, I said we helped. You told him to cheat on her. He did say to cheat on her. You are like the devil on the shoulder, but you're both shoulders and you're both devils. All right, we got another call. Hello. Yo, it's Restart. Hey, what's up, Restart? How you doing, man? Restart? Uh, So what are you drinking there? That's his name. Uh, I'm drinking water. I'm doing dry January. I'm almost... She's a recovering alcoholic. I don't know what your deal is. (laughs) She's drinking (laughs) cum. I don't know why the way Danny says it's so funny. (laughs) Well, I'm just kind of giving the explanation. It is very matter of fact. Yeah, it is. I'm just like... And then uh, you're drinking water and I'm drinking water. Uh, Ask your question quick. uh, Karen's got a car coming in three minutes. (laughs) XL or black? No, I got got comfort, dude. I'm trying to be economical. Over comfort. It's nice. still a black Lincoln, but Light, yeah. lightning round restart. Yeah, yeah lightning round. Yeah, we we got Karen for only uh probably a minute or two. So yeah, yeah. Really well, don't. that was it. I, I was wondering about what you're drinking. I was gonna say the comments are going kind of crazy about she ate an entire fucking pizza. In like two <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Yeah. My favorite thing is actually whoever photoshopped you as like super fat. That, I it's love the that. Thing. that it's funny. so funny. I love it too. Uh, All right. Well, I mean, that's the thing. People probably see. Thanks, dog. Thanks for start. I mean, people probably see you and they're like, you know, you don't eat or whatever, right? And then you're kind of putting that to bed. Eleven twenty-four. Just crushed a whole margarita. Yeah, she just smashed that thing. I was even going after like the crusts. Oh, he's here. He's here. Okay. Okay. Bye, Karen. Karen Fian, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, they're not your beats. Sorry, just hold on one second while Karen gets out of here. Karen like, can't like go home Karen. until she's eating beats. Dude, she every the, apparently the chat's going crazy because Karen smashed a whole pizza just on stream. <laughs> now she's going to throw it up in the Uber. Karen, <laughs> 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 thank you again. Such a bitch. Nah, that's not true. Um, so what's up? Who, who are we speaking with here? It's Brent from South Carolina. Brent from South Carolina. Oh, I remember you. You called in on the Thanksgiving episode, I think. That's right. I I, I said the Thanksgiving prayer. You, yeah, you did. How you How you been, man? Oh, not bad, dude. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm um I'm I'm enjoying myself tonight. Uh, so what's up? Are you serious? Did you get Karen some food? Uh Karen got Karen some food, and she fucking just destroyed an entire margarita pizza. She's actually, I believe, yes, she I believe she's actually on. This is what our thirteenth episode. She's the first person to ever eat during an episode. Period. Let alone eat a whole pizza. She, she did a good job of it. I honestly, she's she did. a quiet eater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I just, uh, I could she, not. Like, Lev, could you eat knowing that there's all these people watching? Just based on, like, I couldn't. I don't. Yeah, I, I mean, I too think much. I, like as a person of size, I just can't see myself doing eating that. on a mic is tough. Yeah, in general. Also, I mean, but Karen's got it down. She's like bite bomb. Bite. <laughs> 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 yeah, she ate it up, dude. Yeah, she did. So, uh, what's up, dude? You, 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 Nothing, you, dude. I uh, I got a uh, I got a uh, ghost story for you if you want it. Sure. Okay. Uh, I lived in Atlanta. Me? Is this a Ku Klux Klan story? <laughs> <laughs> They're dressed just like ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, which one? <laughs> Right, yeah, I, uh, I'd, uh, I'd uh, stayed with a girl down in Atlanta in Little Five Points uh, for a little while before I married her for nine months. Uh, you can imagine that. You guys were but, married uh, for nine months? That's how yeah, long it took the kid to it, die. <laughs> how long did you... It, uh, went, it went quick. How long did you guys know each other before the marriage? I knew I knew her in high school, and we were always kind of like flirty. But uh, only like later in my life, I was like on tour with a band, and uh, I uh, ended up. She was in Philadelphia. Was, and, it, was the name uh, Whiskey in your band title? <laughs> <laughs> I forget which band, but. Uh, <laughs> The Whiskey Marlboros. <laughs> Sounds like you lived a hard life. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was tough. 
But uh, yeah, uh, I was dating her when she was in Atlanta. I was in Athens, Georgia. So like hour and a half away, perfect. Like you hang out on the weekends, right? Yeah, it's like not proper long distance, but there's enough distance where you're like you can just kind of do your own thing. Mm-hmm. Exactly, you got your own lives, whatever. But anyways, uh, she lived at this place across from the Variety Playhouse in Little Five Points. And it was uh, an old schoolhouse they converted into a uh, fancy uh, little condo area, right? Mm-hmm. And so, uh, dude, uh, three weekends in a row that I was down there, uh, I had ghost experiences. Like uh, one night, this fucking little girl drug me out of my body in my uh, half sleep or whatever, like uh, across the room, like leading out towards the hallway. Uh, This is an old schoolhouse. And I'm like, what the fuck? And so uh, she, she had had experiences where uh, there were giant windows, like uh, five feet by, uh, you know, 15 feet giant windows with metal blinds and she had woken up to them rattling or whatever. And so there was something ghosty going on. Something and, ghosty uh, going on. A little <laughs> girl drug you out of your bed. What's the square footage I'm on this place? Kidding. What's no, the no, she like? drug me out of my body. Huh? Out of his body. Well, yeah, that's, that's not a little... I don't even understand how that works. Yeah. That must have been crazy. Like your skeleton, like a cartoon. Why is it always a dude who like can't remember the name of his no, own it band? No, it, it, <laughs> it, it, like, it, it was. Let me tell you what I was saw. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it was like dream state kind of uh, stuff where, uh, you know, one one day I woke up and uh, the sheets were like, uh, you know, shuffling on Covered my in face. Piss. <laughs> <laughs> It's like my bed had sheets on it, and I knew that could not have been me. Somebody snuck in here. Have you had any interaction with ghosts before this? Uh, uh, yeah. Well, after this, I have. I'll, uh, you think they I followed you? you? But, uh, They're not going to come through the phone what? right now, are they? How funny was that? <laughs> He's like, anyways, They're I say all you. this because that's kind of what inspired me to write this song. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear a guitar chord. <laughs> Ghost in Mississippi, but I found it in Atlanta. Um, also, wow. every South Carolina story is like, first of all, I didn't drag that girl in. She dragged me. <laughs> that little girl in my bed. Oh, yeah, that's kind of your neck of the woods. Yeah, huh? did you molest yeah. this girl, Ghost? <laughs> What's going on here? All right, so... Uh, it's not okay. a no. I level with you. Uh, I level with you. Rolling. You I got like me. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> these, uh, these weird experiences happen <laughs> three different weekends. And then uh, afterwards, we go down to pay the rent at the office in this place. It's and an uh, court for this girl. And they're like, how do you plead? Like, <laughs> Your Honor, I plead ghost. <laughs> <laughs> So then you go. No, down. I go. I got. We go down to the office to pay the rent, and uh, I'm like, "Is there a ghost in this place?" And she's like, uh, "The lady at the desk is like, oh, you're talking about the little girl," and I'm like, "What the fuck?" And uh, she's like, "Yeah, there's a woman on the uh, such and such a room or whatever that collects stories about this." And uh, I was like, it's it's a like a seven eight year old girl, black hair, and whatever. And uh, she's like, yep, like uh, there's like, a woman that ghost? collects the stories. She, she was like seven, black hair, real sexy looking. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, that uh, ghost she, said she was, she was eighteen. <laughs> um, and ghost no, here, she I mean, she's uh, probably three thousand or some shit. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. <laughs> We're drugs no, involved. She was, uh, the, uh, how do, do you consider marijuana a drug or no? For you, yeah. Not, no, for you, no. <laughs> for your brain, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, every time I'd, you answer I'd a question, lady, you pause. <laughs> I uh, I asked the lady uh, so if, so there, if I there was a ghost perfect in the smoke cell, rings. Right. And... <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, go on, go on. But anyways, uh, she's like, yeah, uh, uh, a girl died here at like seven or eight years old, like same description. Uh, and uh, at the end of it, uh, 
the last time that she visited me, quote unquote, I, uh, she, I swear to God, I woke up in the morning and it was like, she was jumping up and down on my balls. Like, uh, and I was like, uh, I, uh, I wished her away and, uh, she you never came back. Uh, how does, well, how does a wishing yeah. a ghost away? What is that? What goes into that? Like, is that in your brain or are you saying that? Out okay. Loud? When you were driving there. Yeah. Like, th- no. Yeah. When you before we get to I, uh, the, no, go ahead and answer that I'm sorry. No, I uh, I did I I, uh, I felt like Is uh, she there I projected. Right now? I hope so, but uh, she, we, the, the, I kind of like, I don't think she's coming back. He was like this. They told me this little girl died here, and <laughs> I started sweating because I had just buried her the <laughs> night before. Well, how'd you know that? <laughs> Oh, man. Well, I, no, uh, how do you I, go back a third time? Is it twice enough? Well, because there's this girls there. Fuck that. Yeah, you gotta I wasn't room. asking for this, bro. And then you married, <laughs> and then you ended up marrying this girl afterwards for nine months. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Okay. Did you? But invite she the was ghost a lawyer. Like uh, it was very fun to argue for a while, but uh, then I got over. I mean, it sounds like you were married for nine months. Yeah. How long was it fun to argue for? I object. There's not a ghost in my apartment. <laughs> so I was getting away with cheating. She's like, "Who the fuck is that?" I'm like, "It's a ghost, honey. You're seeing spirits." <laughs> I got a question. If she's a lawyer, right? Why couldn't she afford an apartment that didn't have a fucking seven year old ghost in it? Good question. And like, was the rent really cheap? I don't was know. It really... She was. She was like. She was. Like Karen, uh, I gotta just say it, gotcha. just to fuck with y'all. She was a Karen. I've never heard someone refer to their ex as like, yeah, that's why it didn't work out. She was a bit of a Karen. Yeah, that wasn't her name, was it? Was the girl? No, no, was the... It didn't know. She was a, she was a Jessica. Would you, cur- <laughs> would you call the girl ghost a Karen? No, I don't know what she was, but uh, when I wished her away, like uh, I felt like I projected light from my third eye and said, "Like, hey, if you don't want to be nice about this, then uh, we're not." Yeah, well, that's how that ends. I love how he's like, "Oh, was I on drugs? I don't know." <laughs> <laughs> like he's answering the questions back. He goes, "Was I on drugs? I don't know if I was on drugs." Do you count drugs as drugs? <laughs> <laughs> Do you uh, count uh, hardcore mind altering substances as drugs? Maybe. I Buddy, was. if you're listening, I hung up because it was funny. That was a good story. Yeah, yeah, Thanks for calling. Thanks, for... <sighs> hey, what's up? Thanks for calling the bathhouse. <laughs> hey, Danny. Hey, it's Pablo up? from California. Pablo from California. How you doing, man? How's it going, man? Since this is, seems to be the relationship advice podcast, I came to ask for some advice. Sure, sure. I, my other podcast used to be the advice podcast, and now I talk about just pedophiles and stuff, so the, and conspiracies. So the, yeah, and, so this is now I, the advice podcast. Yeah, I talk about uh, you know almost dying and speeding a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I get it. No worries. Exactly. Um, so what's up, dude? So, so I have a problem. It's hard for me to meet women, not because I'm ugly or anything, although I've been told I, I am, but. <laughs> I work a lot. But I'm told I am. I, I, <laughs> what, what's your objective? I, I work a lot. What's your objective? Okay, let's get the stats here. How old are you? I work a lot. Um, 20, 26. 26. How tall? Six foot. Six foot. Okay. And, and what are we talking about weight wise? Uh, 215. 5'0? 250. No, no, 215. 215. Okay, so that's fine. You're slightly overweight. Yeah. Slightly, that's a, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Working on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah that's cool. All right, let's, it's, not, you know, it's not dick too deep. Yeah, uh, gotcha. But I work, I, work, I work a lot, and I work at night. So I work 11 hours a day, six days a week. What do you do? I'm an aircraft mechanic. Gotcha. It's a pretty cool job. Yeah. So it's, it's a pretty cool job. I work at night, so I sleep during the day mostly. So I don't really have a lot of time to hang out with women. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or that's look. a pretty. I mean, you literally. I feel like you need a woman who's has the same schedule as you. What about that's like a, what I've been? What a flight attendant? Would a flight attendant work? I'm a mechanic. I don't. I'm not. I'm not like a a pilot, so I don't travel. Gotcha. Yeah, but you're around them, right? They're walking around, aren't they? Not. They no, 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 because the is, is that a cat in the uh, background? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, that wasn't a girl cat. ghost, She's was it? <laughs> <laughs> She's traveling now. 
No, it's my horror cat. She's in heat right now. Gotcha. Oh, let's do that. Oh, is your cat's name Karen? Well, I have a, have a seat. We, got a, we have a, some advice that's needed. No, it's uh, this one's Trish. Uh, my other, my other cat is named Cleo. Either okay, way, so he has two cats. Lev, Lev is a cat man. So he's uh, 26. He's an aircraft uh, mechanic. He works at nights and he can't meet women because he works six nights a week, eleven over, hours, like, oh, eleven hour shifts overnight. Sleeps during the day. <clears throat> That's why you can't meet women. Well, it's like, how, how do you meet women? When you get that one day schedule? off, buddy. Wait, when do you get home? What time do you get home? Uh, I get home at seven in the morning. No, no, I get off at seven, so I get home around seven thirty. And then you sleep, right? Yeah, it's probably like two yep. or something. Okay. Is there is there any way? Well, hit... Oh, sorry, go on. Oh, well, I was just gonna say, hit the gym for an hour real quick. You know, try to lose weight. But I you. mean, get home around eight. Yeah, eight eight thirty. And uh, are there any prospects for you, uh, like advancing in that career where you can get on the normal shift? Because I imagine that's like what people work towards is to just get on the, the yes, not nice shift. Yes, but it's a long. Yes, but it's a it's a long long time. Yeah, like how long? Like, like five we're talking years? like seven or eight. Hmm. Do you okay? I have a question. Do you work with guys who now, or do you know guys who now work the day shift, the good one, but used to work the night shift? Uh, no, they're all the old timers. They've been there for fifteen plus but, years. But like, do you have that's what I'm saying. Old... You, do you know any of them or no? You don't know any of them? N- n- no, they work the day shift. Right, I, right. We don't. You don't, we don't, you we don't, don't even. How, how old are you? 26, 26. 26. I was going to say, maybe ask them how they did it. Uh, well, most of them are divorced. Any of them that I have talked <laughs> to, they're either divorced or they were married before they started. Gotcha. Do you like your job? I do. I, I really do like my job, but that's also my problem. I like my job so much, I never stop working. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's supposed to be four days a week. You need to the night but before. I work two days over time. You need to start planning dates like two, three p.m. and just accept that fifty percent of chicks are not going to be able to do that because they're going to be working those hours. Mm-hmm. And just start, dude. Get on hand. You, you, you need to find messages. a nurse. You need to find a nurse. Legitimately, oh, nurse, like, nurse, a, good, a, yeah. a nurse is someone where like you could find a nurse who literally has your exact schedule. Yeah, yeah. And if you're working such intense hours too, maybe split the difference and do one day overtime instead of two. You know, you're only twenty six once. I mean, it sounds like you probably. Make so I'm supposed good to make money. the money to afford my. How else am I supposed to make money to afford my speeding tickets? Well, maybe don't. Speeding tickets. Maybe don't. Yeah, speed. get less speeding tickets. Yeah. I mean, what, what would you That's, rather get, pussy right, or look, speeding tickets? Yeah, you're not in a rush to go I'm get pussy. I'm looking for advice. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you in such a rush for? Yeah. He's like, I see all these That's girls. It. I just fly <laughs> right past them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Pablo. Yeah. Honestly, like it sounds like you. You're right. you Highway to the no pussy zone. <laughs> <laughs> you do, <laughs> sir. You were speeding in a no pussy zone. <laughs> it's double the fine. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, officer. Every zone is a no pussy zone for me. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I would say you got to find. Uh, go find a nurse. I'd say that's like you have the perfect. You got to because there aren't that many female jobs that probably. Dude, you know how many college schedule? students, strippers, and artist chicks don't fucking do any work? Like, you can find some chick who's living off her yeah, fucking dad true. money. But even still, you're gone. Like, so what? When? What hours are you awake and free? What time do you start at? Like 10 p.m. Uh, I start at eight. You work eight uh, to seven every day, six days a week. Mm-hmm. Uh, n- six days a week. Yes. And Honestly, I don't think you it. can have a girlfriend. But he's supposed to work four. He does two he extra choose, days. Well, he's yeah. trying to bank some money, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But yeah. I'm just like, you're choosing this over girls. Like, I don't think you can. No, I think he can. I know a guy who yeah, works yeah, like yeah, the I'm, five a like until five a.m. every night. He's got married with kids and all that shit. Uh, yeah, I, I understand. I, I, I obviously I have to stop working overtime every single day. I mean, I could do, you know, one week on, one week overtime, one week no overtime. And yeah. try to make that work, but I mean, I mean honestly, I, I, mean, I don't even like. I can't imagine some girls like, oh, that's my big deal breaker. Is this guy thinks he's bat- one week less. This guy thinks he's Batman. He's like, I can't quit. I am the knight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like my job. That's that's the problem. I actually I like working a lot. Well, that's, that's good. A lot, of people, a lot of people get pussy and don't like their job. You yeah. Know? So like, life is a it's fine. compromise. It's, yeah, exactly. It's about also you can spend some of that overtime money on some escorts. Yeah. That's your answer to everything. But I do get free flights. I then pre flights. I do get free flights. Oh, so you're flying these hookers in. Okay. Um yeah, man, I think you sh- What airline do you work for? Can you tell us? Uh it's not I don't work for an airline. I work for a company that works for the planes for the airlines. Oh gotcha. Okay. They're just 
Jeffrey Epstein Enterprises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I yeah, think yeah, you, you know the answer, though, too. Yeah, I would say one week on, one week off. I mean, dude, you got you to gotta relax every now and then. I mean, working is relaxing. I don't know, dude. He I, also, 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 the job isn't that intensive. Like, that's the thing. Like, yeah. work starts at 8, ends at 7, but we're really done around 4. Sneak one of these girls so in. So it's not Bang exactly in the a cockpit, hard job. baby. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, honestly, though, the problem is the hours. You're like, you got to sneak her in at fucking four. She's going to yeah. be also, blackout I... <laughs> drunk at that time. That's so you get them in be there. Be a yeah. liability, though, to bring to work. I also, know. I can't really sneak in a girl to the airport. Yeah, she probably just needs clearance and security stuff. Like, I kind of like his. Yeah, the 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 cat. If you're actually <laughs> able to say he has 10 cats surrounding him, <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got top show plasmosa being like, how do I meet women? If you're actually able to save up money, like doing what you're doing, you like you might want to just fucking work even more than you're working now, get no pussy for 14 years, <laughs> invest everything you're making, and at 40, just ball out. He honestly fuck says that. Uh, yeah, he says that at. He, if he works another seven years, uh, she could get the day job. And he says that all the people who work the day shift from like, and they start there, they're all divorced because it's just like, I guess, just too yeah. difficult. Do you have tattoos? No. Maybe get a tattoo. Is that what you think life is like for a guy with a tattoo? Just pussy just <laughs> flies at him. I mean, he's a, he's a fucking airplane mechanic. He should probably have a tattoo of like a, a sailor girl or something. Or Maybe a get a tattoo of your cat. <laughs> <laughs> of all of them. Uh-huh. Yeah, which I don't one? know. Yeah, which one? Do you do? You, are you use the apps? Are you on the dating apps? Uh, no, because anytime I would go on, it's you know lots of swiping and no, you know nothing. Uh-huh. Well, you, well, you got to put in time, like dude. Said, you start in a low algorithm. Like I said, I'm not. I'm. I'm not. I'm not traditionally attractive. I mean, I'm as I am now. I'm a four at best. Ooh, no, I don't, no. he does not he sound was, like a four. He said he's six foot tall, two fifteen. Hey, nah, man, you got nah, a good yeah. job and you're good six job foot works hard. And you're, yeah, no, don't say I that. I don't no, believe you're so. like at least a six. Yeah, just all those things are six. You want to come on, Joe? No, we're not. Oh, that's too bad. Okay. Well, let's love everybody. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's honestly a tough one. It's like you have such a tough schedule. That, uh, but that the right woman exists. It's just hard to find. Maybe there needs to be a dating app that's for people who work crazy schedules to pair them up. Because it's, it's probably like wasting your time to swipe on normal people. Yeah, just keep yourself yeah. open. Maybe lose a couple cats, get a tattoo, and uh, don't speed. So well, much. they're they're walking away, so I don't have to worry about the cats for much longer. Okay, they're walking away. They're walking away. Yeah. Well, I I I originally adopted one. And this bitch cucked me, and so you know she had seven cats. Okay, let's and circle. Two of them Sorry, away. Say, who? What bitch cucked you? Who? Who is this? A fucking cat. This fucking whore. Oh, she had seven more cats. She yeah. This bitch was pregnant when I picked her up. I thought she was skinny because she was starving. Turns out this bitch got pregnant. Oh That's wait, you. and you have all these cats right now? Two of them walked away. So you have six cats. Five. Five cats. That sucks that your cat can get laid though, and you yeah, can't. Yeah. Put it... <laughs> yeah, and now there's this. Bitch yo, your cat probably can't to fix get, an airplane. Show you fuck too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, she also did the money. She. I will freeloader. say that probably if I was a chick, I would be remiss from a man who has five cats. That's a lot of cats. Yeah, Alex Stein. I want Alex them. Stein, I think, has that many cats. Actually, if you know prime time Alex Stein, I think he has five cats. Like, imagine she I calls you, and all she just cats. hears is meow, meow. You're like, that's a red flag. Yeah. You got to lose a couple of those cats, man. I'm trying. I'm trying to get them adopted, but, you know, who the fuck wants, you know, five cats? You give them away one at a time. You don't have to, it's not a package deal. Take them to the cat pound. I get it, but still, you know, it's hard to get rid of five fucking cats. It sounds, oh, man, you make J.J. Lieberman sound fucking like a, J.J. has two dogs that are just destroying his life, but. Five fucking cats. Again, these—they're outdoor cats. I don't—I don't deal Dude, with them that often. But I have to keep this bitch in <laughs> because she's not fixed yet. And if I leave her out, she's gonna get pregnant again. Yeah, sure. Sounds like a nightmare, dude. Yeah. I think you have so many other problems again, pussy. Right now, you gotta get all these things in yeah. order. It's a shame Karen's not here. I feel I, like she'd have an answer. Well, my biggest problem is the little pussy. Yeah. Yeah, that is your biggest problem. I don't I know, man. You're, you're in a tough. I can't deal you're with a, not getting pussy. You're in a tough spot. I, I would say if you're not getting any swipes on apps, then and you can't go to bars because you're not awake at those hours. So you have to just at this point, it's only a physical appearance thing. So you have to improve your physical appearance if that's what you're working on. Go out on your one day out. Yeah, maybe, maybe you're a street. Oh, cat. great! This is a big fucking waste of my time. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry. Pa- That's wow. funny. Uh, that was Pablo. All right, I think we're gonna wrap this that up. Was. Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah, Thanks for having me. Well, yeah, I appreciate it. Um, where where can people find you? You can find me at Cassidy Comedy on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, check out my new YouTube pilot that I produced and directed and starred in called Snow Dance. Snow Dance pilot on YouTube. Yeah, I'll, I'll link your uh, YouTube in the comments so people can Sweet. check it out. Thanks. Yeah. Man. Oh, we have another call. We Let's do one yeah, more. Yeah, of course. Baby. Uh, I mean, if people are calling, we'll we'll be sure, answer, yeah. we'll be answering. Hello. Yeah, Thanks for calling the bathhouse. <laughs> Please, uh, yeah, you got to turn down the radio in the background. It's like the 80s. Oh, shit. Oh, I hung up on it. Is that a girl? <laughs> That's, that is literally the response anytime a woman calls in. Yeah. For any of my shit, it goes, oh, my God, a girl. It's yeah. like, <laughs> oh, my God, a girl. I didn't see that one coming. Um, Lev, he hung up on us. Pablo. You got a little mad at the end. Yeah. Like, well, yeah, you guys were on. You guys were like, have you? He's like, we're I trying love, to help him. He's All like, right. I love my job. He's like, you have to quit. <laughs> Fuck your job. Hello. Said, Don't work six days a week, 11 hours. Hey, how are you? Call her. Go ahead. <laughs> Call her. Go ahead. Dude, is this the girl ghost? This might be the girl ghost. I want to hang up, but then. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't even the same person as the last person who called either. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That, Pablo has a tough one. I would say. I don't know. I think I he wish knows I could the answer. What did he say he before he hung answer. up? I, I said, "Well, your issue is that you don't get any matches on dating apps. So then that's a purely like a appearance thing. So you have to prove your appearance. You can't do anything else." Okay, this is the previous caller. Let's see. Hello. Hi. Hi. Sorry about that. Uh, no Earlier, problem. I yeah, sorry for called and was like, "Oh shit." Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I didn't know I was actually going to get through. Welcome to the bathhouse. What's up? Thanks. We're letting women in here now. Uh, yeah. It's, it's oh, 20, you're allowing women it's 2023. Now? We're very progressive. Hit, nice. us. Hit us, hon. What do you got? Yeah. Well, uh, first of all, that guy doesn't need to worry about losing pounds. He needs to worry about losing cats. Yeah, five cats. Second he has five cats. Law. He had five cats? Yeah, one of them was pregnant. Yeah, I mean... I have cats. I have two cats. Can you imagine the litter box? Like, oh. God. He said they're outdoor cats, so, so they probably, might at least shit outdoors. But he uh, said one of them's not an outdoor cat, which is, and he can't let it outdoor because it's not fixed. Well, I can't imagine him being one that actually cleans the litter box. So it's funny. Hey, don't be so hard but, on Pablo. He seemed like a nice guy. He got a little okay. mad at the end until he hung up I'm on sorry. us. It's okay. Do you have a question for I us? Am- it's fun listening to sure. an ambient uh, take effect. <laughs> do you kind of do something like Karen, like on like drama mean or something? Right? Karen <laughs> relapsing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many wines have you oh, had tonight? God. Oh, I don't drink wine. I drink beer usually. Okay. Oof, a libertarian but, woman. Um, <laughs> a hearty. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So what's up? Yes. Oh. Um. So. I'm trying to switch what I'm watching, and I've been watching crime and murder YouTube videos and datelines and stuff, and I started, like, getting into sketching. Sketching? Serial killers. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, as, like, a side job, like, for your Etsy store? <laughs> no, no, just as, like, just to come. A random, like, looking at people's uh, edge or um, mug, shots? mug shots and, uh, and then sketching them. Do you think I should be concerned? Yeah, you're in too deep. For yeah, sure. you're so fascinated with serial killers. I mean, I don't, that's a job, though. Like, people do that in trials and shit. No, I know, like a court. A court yeah, are you, uh, are you pretending to be that? No, no, I, I am not. I'm not in that deep. I just. Who's your favorite serial killer? I don't know what it is. I was. I on think the... it's the it's just faces or something that I'm interested Why in. Why do they have to be serial killers? Though you can port, draw anybody. No, they don't. Okay. I think that that's what I need. I'll start doing com. I'll do comedians. comedians. Honestly, start doing comedians, and then I'll, I'll give you. A, if you want to do any comedians that have been on the bathhouse, I'll yeah, just DM me. Say. I'll give you a, the address of our studio. You can send them in. It's like I'll send you a video of them murdering someone, <laughs> and, and you can sketch them. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. Last week I was. Uh, I'll do one with. Um, I'll do a little combo. 
serial killer slash comedian. There you so, go. Just kidding. Yeah. Yeah, one of them exists. Yeah, no, sure. no, no. They're sitting at this table right no. now. Yeah, I've never <laughs> killed one of us. <laughs> I was on jury duty for a murder trial two weeks ago. What? Like, I was in the box. They were interviewing me to be a juror. Yeah. And uh, I was like, I'm sorry. I, I have a show in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania on Thursday. And that's worthy and of getting out of it? The judge was like, there's some things worse than the death penalty. <laughs> Tough. Tough. <laughs> were you actually on a jury now? I was, no, I... Got out of it because of that, I think. Oh, okay. I don't well, like that, the way Lev l- laughed at that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was saying, I didn't get it. Or don't I didn't get it, but what I'm, don't you get I'm trying to make it? you it's feel positive. <laughs> no, it was worse. I'd no, rather, I don't get it. Why do you say there's worse things than... Why I have a show in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. All right. That's right. the joke. Yeah. If yeah. anybody's in the area. I ignored <laughs> the it. jury duty mail. I should probably be concerned. That's weird that you like to watch fucking crime things, but you won't go to jury duty. Yeah, that seems like right up your alley. No, no, I would. I would. I just am fucking lazy and like never respond to. Are you allowed to just be like, I just didn't respond? Is that an option? Yeah. I don't think so. I think I'm in trouble. What if this Uh, is one of the female dating strategy chicks trolling you right now? Nah, they don't. They don't care. How old are you, miss? 37. Excuse, bitch. <laughs> How did you? I'm 38. 38. Okay. I'm nice. 38, actually. Good. 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 Let's go. Yeah, you guys. Let's go. 1984, that's like the uh, the novel. That's correct. Mm. Born in 1984. You Sorry. got it. I like nice. Danny's question. Who's your favorite serial killer? Um, I think. Uh, I mean, that's such a fucked up question. Um, well, it's Danny's. Well, John Wayne Gacy, I guess. Okay. Basic. Bitch. Really? <laughs> Why Gacy? <laughs> I hung up on him. Oh. <laughs> um, we love you, hun. Good luck no, with everything. Uh, whenever we hang up on people, it's because hey, we don't love watch, them. Hey, don't watch uh, crime shows. Watch Snow Dance out now on YouTube. Do watch Snow Dance out on YouTube. But on uh, your, yeah, uh, YouTube bless. channel. There's something's right. worse than the death penalty. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. There we go. See? Did well, he actually say that? No, the judge. Of course not. Why would you do that to him? (laughs) Sometimes the judge does crack jokes. Oh, yeah. No, he was a cool ass judge. Yeah, yeah. He was like the coolest judge I've ever been around. You've been around a lot of judges? Nah. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right. That's been the bathhouse. Thank you very much to our guest left for Tom Cassidy. Tom Cassidy. Can't be in. Um, where do you plugs anything you guys want to plug? Go watch Tom's new thing just dropped on YouTube. I will go subscribe to Tom's YouTube. YouTube. I'll drop it in. I'll drop it below. In the description, you'll Good get times. some you know, YouTube subscribers out of this. Lev, anything? Lev, I'll drop yours. Everybody knows where to find you. You've been on the show many times. We have one more caller. It's the chick again, not picking up. Or should we pick up? We should pick Tom, up. Whatever you want, it's your show. Tom, new, new guest choice. Tom wants to do it. All right. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> All right, that's the show. Nice. Shout out to our producer Johnny Glover. Uh, from now on, everybody, as a no, starts at ten thirty. We're done with the ten p.m. Ten thirty from now on because we're always late, and that's how it is. Thank you very much for joining the bathhouse. We'll be back next week. Play us out, Johnny. You know it, all my shit heroic Empathic abilities, yeah, my face be also stoic Bleep, blow up, nigga, that just means I'm working They see me as a leader, so that's why I'm capping Kirkin These tracks from the stars, that much is for certain You can feel this hit if you up or if you hurt it. I'm raising my stock, not talking my feet, it's some Birkin Number Johnny Five, got a fucking short circuit Bring the track to life when I spit phenomenal When I hit, she feel that shit in her abdominals These rappers make me laugh like comic, be they comic do. You know I got a ball out, I hit the track running just like Sonic do They don't wanna turn on my light switch Yeah Turn on my light switch, yeah. They tried to down me up some KO type shit, yeah. They don't wanna turn on my light switch, yeah. Now we pulling up fresh on some flight shit, ah. They don't wanna turn on my light switch, yeah. They don't wanna turn on my light switch, yeah. They don't wanna turn on my light switch, yeah. They was trying to get me on my hype shit, yeah. They don't wanna turn on my light switch, yeah. Now they tried to down me up some KO type shit, yeah. They don't wanna turn on my light switch, yeah.